So I've been in touch with the Norwich board as to why Todd Cantwell was missing so many training sessions. And this is why. How you doing you bloody legends and welcome back to another episode of the Norwich City Career Mode episode 5 guys. I just want to thank you all so much for all your support. Let's keep that up ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep up the support and if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you go subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now I'm actually surprised I got this far into a career mode because all my past career modes, <laughs> I haven't even managed to get like 3 or 4 episodes in. But I'm really sticking with this one guys and it's going to be a good one. You guys can see last episode we got our first ever win and we're not coming last on the table. Aston Villa are below us on two points. Now before we get into our first game, I asked you guys in the I last episode, Rochi in or Rochi out? 50% of you guys said Rochi in. You guys are the best. The rest of you 45% just, just get out of here. Just, what's the point? I also asked you guys if we should promote Thomas Carvajal and you guys overwhelmingly said that we should. He's 65 rated guys, 17 years old. I'm excited to see uh, this guy, you can see his main stats there, but the main thing that I'm focused on is the weak foot, the skill moves, the work rates. We'll have a look at that right now. Okay, three star weak foot, four star skill moves, that's low, low work rates again, 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 again. Oliver Carter had low, low work rates as well, our other used player we promoted. Thomas Carvajal now, a beast, completely ruined. He may as well be in a nursing home. Because he's got low, low work rates, he doesn't want to move. I get my hopes up once again. Well, I may as well, honestly, now. I may as well just loan this guy out. Um, I, I may I may play him just a little bit this this uh, this episode just to see how he plays. But with a play with low, low work rates, guys, I'm sorry. Like, it's just shit. Even medium low, I would take. But you know what? It is what it is, right? Guys, we left off last episode having to play an away game at the Amex against Brighton. I believe Brighton are actually doing quite well on the table so far this season. They're coming 10th. So let me go quickly and attend this press conference. Hopefully get the boys all revved up. Our manager ratings are 70. So it, it honestly could be worse right now. At least we're not in the red zone. On paper, it looks like Brighton and Norwich are similar in terms of ability. How will you approach this? Uh, focus on playing well, mate. That's what you gotta do. Inconsistent results of later put your team's aim to avoid at relegation. It's our responsibility to try. Always, mate. Norwich are in a bad run of four. Mate, we got a win last episode and we almost beat United. Okay, shut up. But you know what? I'm gonna take it on the chin. Um, at least get the team morale. Look, very happy. So, at least we're going into the game. I don't know if that affects how players play. If one of you guys can let me in the comments. Uh, does morale affect how your players play in game? I'm not sure. Really quickly before we get into the game, I want to thank you guys all for your interactivity in the comments last episode as well. Quickly, Alfie said to train up Ida. Uh, when he gets to 23, he has a 30 mil release clause. So yeah, I will train up Ida. Look, as much as I don't like how he plays now, he's not necessarily the striker that I would want to use. Um, eventually, I'll probably put out a poll asking whether we sell him or whether we keep him. But we would definitely be able to get good value out of him because what, he's like 17 years old or 18 years old and he's like 68 rated, so thank you for that. The GOAT himself, Callum, has gone and said to train the youth players and the younger players, so just rotate it a little bit, which is probably what I was, I was wanting to do. Uh, just mix up the training between the, the youth scouter players and of course the young talents who are in real life playing as well. He's also started the hashtag start Sherpin, which honestly, I can't disagree as much as I love Tim Krull. Sherpin has grown absolutely amazing so far this season. He's only been at the club for what, a couple of months and he's already gone up four ratings. Uh, he saved a penalty last episode as well. So yeah, we'll give him the start for the first game. Anyway, lads, let's get into this game away at the Amex. I believe this is the first time I've actually used the Norwich away kit. Looks pretty cheeky in my opinion. I do prefer the home kit though. Nevertheless, that's your signing lineup right there. Sherpin, Nia Kate, Godfrey, Aaron's, Lewis, Chowdhury, McKay, Duda, Buendia, Hernandez, and Puki. Tim, Todd Campbell, Tim Campbell, Todd Campbell, still yet to get the start. He's too busy making TikToks, guys. I can't say anything else. He needs to get his shit sorted. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your Brighton lineup. They've got Matt Ryan in goal, the Aussie beast. Dan Byrne, I don't even know who that guy is, but he's huge. Aaron Moy, the absolute GOAT. I need to try sign him later in the career mode. Two Aussies, both in the same lineup. Brighton's first team, it's okay. Um, it's, it's okay, but I genuinely think that we have the players who can compete with them. I still haven't got any feedback from you guys in the comments regarding the player numbers, so sort, sort that out, guys, if you want to. But nevertheless, we're live at the Amex. Brighton versus Norwich, lads. We got this. Come on. They have got space. Pushing the ball forward here. Oh, my God. Bruh. I mean, I mean, it's just a fucking good goal to be fair. That's just a banger. 
Look at Brighton. The midfield was wide open there. They couldn't penetrate our defence, so they took a long shot. And I mean, I, I can't do anything there. That's just legendary difficulty being pretty good. Alexis McCall. I don't even know who that guy is. Six goals in the Premier League. Yeah, you guys are probably going to absolutely bully me in the comments section for not knowing this guy. I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. I've never heard of him. I don't know how to say that name, but Yehan Bakic or whatever. I don't know. How do you say that name? He's got the ball. He tries to get past Jamal Lewis. He doesn't. And Jamal Lewis is now going to drive the ball forward here. Can he see Ana Hernandez? Will he make the run? He doesn't make the run. Why are you not making the run? And my battery's low. Oh my god. Niakate goes out to Max Ahrens. It's a firm pass, as you would expect from a beast like Niakate. We're going to play it through the center. Nonrej Duda. Of course, he's very talented on the ball. He's got four-star skills as well. We're going to try to use that. He fake shots past Aaron Moy. He gets through. He gets through. Oh, my God. That's a good shot. And it's a good save by the Aussie keeper, Matt Ryan. I need to try. You guys said try skill a little bit more. And I have gone and done that there. It was effective. I mean, that was a good long shot. You just have to give praise to Matt Ryan there. It was a good save. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Good save, Sherpin. Woo-hoo. Try to do something with it. Duda goes to Emiliano Buendia, who is playing on the right. I may, I may try moving on the left, but half-time whistle goes, guys. The score is 1-0. We are losing. Brighton have pretty much got one chance the whole game, and they did take it. Looking at the stats, though, it's been, it's been an even half. It's been a dead half, to be honest. Look, three shots in total. There's only one slight change that I made at half-time. Buendia is now going to be playing on the left. Hernandez is now going to be playing on the right because Buendia playing on the left last game, you know that banger that he scored coming inside. It was just brilliant. No, no Aaron Moy, no Aaron Moy. Good save, Sherpin, and he's near post. He's learned from his mistakes last episode and he's punched it out wide for a, for a corner. This game's got me on edge and I need to make a triple substitution. Buendia has now moved into the middle. I am going to bring on Todd Cantwell out wide. Is he left-footed or right-footed? He's right-footed. Although I am going to switch him and Hernandez. Hernandez is going to play on the left. I am going to bring on Adam Ida. Yes, I know. I, I haven't liked him. I haven't liked him so far, but Pookie has done nothing this game. To be fair, yeah, he's hardly hot. I touched the ball either. And the final substitution, Teti is going to come on for Chowdhury in the left center defensive position. Just over 30 minutes left to be played. Brighton have got a corner here and we have to deal with it. It is headed out, but it is a goal kick for us, luckily. Aaron's in the McKenney. And the Cantwell. Is he too busy making TikToks? Well, he has made a nice pass there. Somehow still got it. We don't have it. Max Aarons brings it forward to McKenney, who's going to drive it forward now, waiting for the run of Todd Cantwell. He doesn't see him, except Todd Cantwell is now making the run. Adam Ida is not making the run. He said, we are going to take a shot. He's too busy making TikToks. <laughs> What is that component? What is that? Just under 20 minutes left in this game. I have gone pretty much all out attack, high pressure. Look, uh, we need to win the game. We need to win a game or at least get a result against Brighton. Otherwise, things aren't going to look too good again. Aaron Moy's pushing it forward. He is going to go out wide to his creator. They are utilizing his pace as much as they can. They are going to cut back inside. They've got the ball and Sherpin again. Well saved. Jamal Lewis is going to take the ball here. And... Uh, Waiting for an open man. Todd Cantwell has got the ball. He's going to see Teti. Waiting for the run over the top of Buendia. Buendia's got the ball now. He's going to cut inside. He's going to cut inside again. Buendia, shoot! Oh my god, boys. I really should have scored there. McKenny's got it. McKenny's got it. McKenny has Release got it. The cracker. Teti's got it. Teti with a long shot! Oh my god! <laughs> if that was higher up, that would have took somebody's head off. Oh my word. I really should have scored before though, but we're focused in the present right now, ladies and gentlemen. Just over 10 minutes left to be played. We have a stacked box. We're gonna try to see Weston McKenney. He's very, very tall and he's got great jumping. McKenney, can we get the header? We don't get the header, but we do win a header and it's Nia Kate! We needed a goal, ladies and gentlemen. We tried to find McKenney, but it's the big beast himself, Musa Nia Kate. Rises like a salmon. He's been very solid in defense this game as well, as you guys would have seen from the clips most likely. And it is perfectly placed into the corner. Almost went out, but it's gone in. That's all we care about. Look at Rochi. He's loving it right now, ladies and gentlemen. He is loving it. We are 1-1 at the Amex right now. 10 minutes left to be played. 
I'm going to go back the balance because I do not want to risk losing this game. I will take a draw. The play here by Brian in the midfield. They're cutting us open right now. Is Corredo has got good pace. We just have to clear it now. Nia Kati, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Why is this happening? Why am I pressing clear? And Nia Kate is just, just looking down at the ball like, oh, I scored. I did my job. Of course that happens. Of course it does. Look at this. I literally get the ball off them. Nia Kate... I, I, I had the opportunity to clear it twice there, and my plays do nothing. Neil Malpe has put it away nicely, and Sherpin has no chance there. What else can I do, guys? I get my hopes up every single game. We're 1-0 up against Manchester United in the 75th minute or whatever, and then we go and lose 2-1, and now we draw it against Brighton, and then they go and score without me literally touching the ball. Even game, as you guys can see right there. Nia Kate had a great game besides that one fuck-up right towards the end. I just didn't need that. I didn't need that. I, it sucks. I don't want to be here. Nia Kate, of course, yeah, he, he's continuing his form, but, like, we're losing every single game. What do I make of the, of the last minute goal? Um, unacceptable. I don't even care. It's just, it's just, you know. So there we go, guys. That's our training session. We're training Ida, Godfrey, Chowdhury, and our two young youth players is there as well. They're done pretty good. Our next game of the episode, guys, is home against Watford. Now, Watford are coming 18th. We're coming 19th. If we win, we will switch positions with them. This game is a vital must-win, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see in the top left, our manager rating is now in the red zone. We don't like that. One small change in the starting lineup for this second game of the episode. Tim Krull is starting over Sherpin. I know you guys may argue against that, but I want to switch it up again. Tim Krull was 76 rated, Sherpin 71 rated. Um, and of course, Tim Krull, he's been actually very good for us this season. He has had his moments, he's had his moments, but for the most part, he has been pretty good. All right, let's have a look at Watford's signing lineup for today, guys. They're playing a 4-2-3-1, same formation as us. Ben Foster in goal. They've signed Vesalco, uh, the right back from, I believe, Atletico Madrid. Etienne Capu holding in the midfield. Is Lisa, whatever you say his name. Uh, the man who, uh, of course, scored, what, two or three goals against Liverpool? He won't be able to do that against us, though, guys. We're just too good. So, I mean, on paper, Watford have actually got a very solid team to call Ray Delefeo, Ben Foster in goal. Um... Ismaili saw, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We're at Carrow Road. We've got to get the win, ladies and gentlemen. Second game of the episode. Let's do this. Delafay has got the ball out wide, and he is cutting inside with his brilliant dribbling. And and oh my God, Tim Krul, what a save! <sighs> Just don't concede early, please. Watford have got a free kick in a fairly dangerous area, guys. They are going to look to cross it in. It is a pretty bad cross. It, oh my God, I say that. What in the world was? What are you doing? Oh my god, clear it. I thought <laughs> I thought Tim Krul was going to claim that, guys. That's why Sherpin's good, because he's tall. He would have caught that. Get it out, boys. Come on, Puki. Puki's claimed it. We're now going to get it forward. Puki has got decent pace to get the ball forward. Jose Holobas is going to try and catch him down, but he's not going to be able to do it. Buendia's got the ball, and Buendia's forward right now. Buendia's forward right now. Can he put it away? Emiliano Buendia, what a save. You can't even, you can't even argue with that, man. That's just a good save by Ben Foster. Oh my god. 1-on-1 -on -one with the keeper. Buendia looks to go over to the far post. And how do you save that man? There has been chances for both teams so far this game. They do shoot. It hits the crossbar or post. I don't know what it is. I don't care. We haven't conceded. That's the main thing. We are going to play through the back now. McKenny's got the ball. He's going to drag back nicely. Look to get some space here. His dude is going to drive it forward. Dude is going to drive it forward nicely. Sees Pookie. Pookie's going to try running into space here as Ono Hernandez does make a nice run out wide. We're going to run it out wide. Cut it inside. Come on, look for a cross now. Look for a cross. Wendy is at the back stick with a bicycle kick. Oh my god, McKenny at your... McKenny, what are you doing? McKenny, what are you doing? You ruined a beautiful play. That'll be half time, lads. Goalless at the half. I'm so surprised there hasn't been a goal so far this game, especially on my part. I cannot finish my dinner. All my players may as well have anorexia. I mean, look at that right now, guys. I mean, we're, we're making chances. We just, again, aren't putting it away. To be fair, Watford have had their fair share of chances, but I think it's fair to say that we are all over them like a cheap suit right now. We need to just take opportunity of our chances this second half. This game is important, guys. Norwich are one spot, what am I saying Norwich are one spot above? Watford are one spot above us on the table, and if we do win, we switch positions with them. That's really going to help us, guys. We need to get out of this relegation zone as soon as we can, because it's not helping my mental state <laughs> at all. Hernandez goes to Jamal Lewis, who's going to drag back, play near Kate in the centre, who goes to... 
Hernandez and now to Chowdhury. Chowdhury's gonna see Dudu who has got space to run into. Is he gonna get there? He's gonna slide. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so yellow, thank the Lord. And Watford have got a ball in a dangerous position right now and they're, they're passing absolutely stunning. Like, 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 come on, man. Just, just bang. I'll become Barcelona. Like, what the hell? Dude is just not quick enough right now, guys. I'm gonna play a very bold move. Try this Carvajal player, see how he does with his low, low work rates. I'm not confident at all. I did go stick him to stay forward, though. If he stays forward, it may work. But look at this play right now. I mean, like, Krul could have possibly saved that, but that's just good, man. And, and oh my god, it just, just makes me feel guilty because I can't take my chances. Gonna make some final substitutions now, guys. Teddy is going to come on for Chowdhury. And for the last sub, Mr. TikTok. What a... Fuck it. Let's bring him on. Mr. TikTok. No! Save it! Clear it! No, why am I clearing it right to their player? Well done, crew! If you don't see this video, it's because I have gone into cardiac arrest. You've got to be kidding me, 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 you've got to be kidding me. I just can't clear the ball properly. I just can't. I can't clear the ball. Tessie, in the car hole, just make the run, Pookie. Pookie does make the run, please finish this chance. Oh my god, finally some luck. It's the 69th minute cheese, and it's on my side. The youngster Thomas Carvajal actually manages to get an assist there, and to be fair, it was a very nice pass. Pookie hits the post, and on this time, the second time, it is finally on my side. 2-1 is the score, we're back in the game. The Finnish god himself has gone and grabbed himself his fifth goal in the Premier League this season. Let's do this, lads. The game is not over yet. Come on, play the dramatic music. Headed out, Pookie, not towards them, please, this time. Get rid of it, Carvajal. Go. Campbell has got pace. Although he's not that quick, he has got enough, though. Let's go. Play the switch over. It's a lovely switch over to Jamal Lewis, who's going to see the run of Teti. Teti, he's not the quickest of lads, but he is going to have the ball, and he's going to go all the way here. Teti's going to go all the way with a shot. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well done, McKenny, with a brilliant tackle right there, lads. Come on. Drive it forward now, McKenny. Wait for that run. Wait for that run. Campbell's made the run. Come on, Campbell. Prove that you're worthy of something. Cross it in. Head it. No one's there. Well intercepted by Teddy. Get there first, mate. Come on. No, 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 no. Good save. Good save, bro. Good save. Carvajal. Where are the men forward? Come on. Teddy. Teddy's got the ball. Looking to play the center. Tammy Puki. Oh my god. We got the ball. We got the ball. We got the ball. We got the ball. McKenny. One final chance, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas Carvajal on his debut. One last dance. Go back. Teddy with the shot. We still have it. Oh my god, I'm going to have a cardiac arrest! And we lose it. We lose the game. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Well done. I, I do everything. I do everything. I just can't win a game. I'm so close. I am so freaking close to winning a game. So close. I can feel my heart in my mouth right now, ladies and gentlemen. Watford were all over us in the second half. I can't deny it. They were all over us, and Tim Crew was brilliant, guys. I'm pissed off, though. Because there's always that, that, that part of you that feels like you do deserve more from a game. Especially in the first half where we took opportunity from our chances. We easily would have been one or two goals ahead going into the half. We didn't do that. And again, we, we, we faced the realities of legendary difficulty taking opportunity of their chances. Difficult game today. The players seem to be lacking in confidence. Confidence is solid, man. I'll say it a million times. We just can't win games. So having plenty of time, he failed to score the equaliser. We can and we should do better. Things aren't looking good. Things aren't looking good at Carrow Road right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, our manager rating 60. Um, it's getting worse and worse. Rochi out could just be a possibility once again. And of course that win has pushed Watford up the table, so getting out of the relegation zone right now, guys, is even harder. Another training session though, ladies and gentlemen. The right side is though, Godfrey is growing very nicely. And we have indeed got our monthly youth scouting report, guys. What are we gonna get back from this? Fingers crossed it's going to be good. Australia has brought us back. Charlie Mason, he looks to be alright. His current value isn't necessarily the best, but again, potential is good. That seems to be all from Australia. This is our final scouting report, ladies and gentlemen. So what does that mean? That means you guys in the comment section down below 
I need you guys to decide where do we where do we go for our next scout report and what players do we look for? So that's your job in the comments for this next video. Uh, going into the next video, guys, this guy looks to be very good. Maybe well, Romero, but look at his potential. Alejandro Luchero. Remember, I think I looked at him last episode as well, and he actually looks to be pretty good, guys. 130 current value, we'll take it. Antonio Bustos, though, looks to be pretty decent as well, guys, with a decent overall rating right now and a decent potential as well. We've also got a six foot six keeper by the name of Javier Prado. I will keep. We also have. Raymond Ponce. Imagine fools, nonce. Now the reason I've took all those lads in simply is because we can't have another look at them, so we may as well take them. And our final scouting report in England has brought back Alfie Lewis. Okay, he's six foot six. We have no other space in the youth academy, so I'm gonna get rid of some players. Augustin Jara, although he looks okay, I mean the six foot six keeper I'd rather keep just because of the height. You know what? I may as well promote some players as well, since all of them look pretty decent. Reese Watson, guys, 59 overall rated, he's 17 years old. I need a third choice keeper, he will be that for us. It's kind of funny how my best players are actually all the all the 15 year olds, but Joel Carter I will also sign, guys. Another cam, but Hopefully he's usable, man. All I care about is, is the school moves and, and the work rates, to be honest, because that's one thing that you can't change. So in that case, Alfie Lewis, welcome to the Youth Academy, mate, and our final spot will be taken off by Taylor Jackson, who looks to be very, very decent as well, with a good value of 220,000. As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, you guys decide in the comments section, where do I go scout for our next scouting report? You guys will be featured in the next episode. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can get commenting and give me some help, because look how much money we've invested into our Youth Academy, so we need to make the most of that. And the final game of the episode is indeed against Everton at Goodison Park, I believe. Having a quick look at the players before we get into the final game uh, with the players that we can read of Reese Watson, we don't really care about the stats there, um, simply because he's a keeper. Are you kidding me? Low, low work rates again. Five star skill moves, completely wasted. Completely fucking wasted. That is going to be your Norwich starting 11 for the final game of the episode away against Everton. Sherpin has got the start over Tim Krul once again, and uh, Todd Campbell is actually getting his start over Hernandez on the right cam position. Buendia is going to be playing on the left. Alright, let's also have a look at the Everton starting lineup for today. They're playing a 4 4 2. Jordan Pickford in goal. Sadibe, Holgate, Mina, and Dinier holding the back line. Alex Awobi, Onur, Gomez, Guilford Sixon, and Richarlison in the midfield. And they've signed Troy Deeney up top with Moyes Keane. Corradini instantly getting the captain's armband as well. You love to see it. Nothing compares to our boys, though. Nothing compares to our boys. Trust me, lads. We got this. Come on, lads. Here we go. Final game at Goodison Park. Trust me, boys. Uh, I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. Everton have got men forward right now, and they are going to look to cross. We've got to clear it nicely. We do clear it, but overrun by Chowdhury, who can't clear his lines right there. And Sigerson's got the ball right now. He's holding it nicely. Lovely one-two between Dini and Sigerson. And it's brilliant play here by Everton, who has still got the ball with a bicycle kick. Troy Deeney wanted that. Deeney! But he wasn't going to get it. Bit of an unnecessary corner, however, because that was going to go out for a goal kick regardless. But hopefully they don't make something out of it. We always seem to concede from crosses or corners, and it looks like it may happen again. It does happen again. An unnecessary dive by Sherpin from the bicycle kick does cause... Uh, look, look at that man, I, I mean, Sherpin really should have covered his near post once again. Ooh, I have high hopes in this game, I have high hopes, Ooh, I'm just gonna fucking lose every fucking game, man. Please, this is not going to be an easy career mode. It's going to be so difficult for me to stay up, and I need to do everything I can to try and stay up. And, and, and hopefully not get sacked as well. Let's pretend, let's pretend. Let's pretend we scored a goal. Oh my god, I could actually get a goal here though. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up, hold up, boys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, Pookie, no way. No, 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 no. Start chirping, start chirping my ass. Why do I go into these games with high hopes when I'm just diving into tackles like they don't mean anything, man? And then everything go and take their chance once again gonna be so hard man this I'm I, I, I could get sacked this could be the end of Richie let's go see the overlap lovely overlap by Max Aarons well done he's got pace down the wing here and has got plenty of space come on come on cross it in delivered nope. how 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 does that happen just how why everything they shoot goes in start chirping my left testicle man start chirping my left testicle I genuinely think every single shot that Everton have took has gone in. Every single shot on target. Every single shot on target at least. Oh my word. For fuck's sake, how shit are you? Can you clear the ball properly please? Oh my god bro. 
Let's go. Go, Pookie. Use that space. Finish. Oh my god, how good is the... Go, finish. Oh my god. Go on, Sharpo. No, no, I'm gonna regret this. No, 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 I don't give a fuck. I mean, realistically, what's there to lose right now? We're 3-0 down, ladies and gentlemen. We may as well go for this win. But Kenny West is going to try and find the run of Campbell. Campbell's got space now. Go on, Campbell. Run, 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 run. Let's go. Back to McKenny In the center. Over the top. To Emiliano Buendia on the volley. That is stunning. That is beautiful play. 3-1. Back in the game. Possibly. Oh, my God. Nope. Shopping, please. Ooh, I'm gonna make some substitutes and they're gonna help me with the game. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you've got- Oh my- Don't you dare. Full time- I mean, what do I have to say? I, I can't be fucking arsed anymore, man. I seriously can't be arsed. It's impossible. I played teams like Watford, and then I played teams like- Who was the other team we played? I forget who the other team was who we played, but, but nevertheless, you know what I mean? Like- Brighton, that's it. We, we were on top, and I mean, we, we went and leveled with Brighton in the 80th minute, and then we go and lose the game. And then again with Watford, we, we so easily could have won that game. Against Everton, I'm not expecting to win, but it's just frustrating, guys, because we're so close. We're so, so close, but we just can't. I'm back to square one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to end this video on it. I'm, I'm just going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm gonna get sacked in the morning at this rate, like, like gen genuinely, man. I'm gonna start this crew and I'm gonna be like, lads, we did it. We achieved what we set out to do. We we got sacked. Let's do some training. Edwards has gone up to 63, which is which is good. We've got the email again. We've got the email again. So starting off our next episode, we're playing Arsenal. Um. Yeah. Now there's always a bright side of these things. We're somehow, some way, with 13 games. One win and 12 losses, still coming 19th. I don't know how Aston Villa are coming to it. Like, like, what the hell, man? 45 manager rating, guys, to end off this episode. Please help me in the comments section with deciding where our youth scouts go. I just have to hope and I have to pray. And I need you guys to hope and pray that we, we somehow keep this career mode going. Because if, it, honestly, man, if it ends, it ends. But it's all part of the fun, right? You know, a lot of a lot of YouTubers, in my opinion, like they, they they do career modes and they'll play with a team like Norwich and they'll make Europe in the first season. This career mode is very realistic in the sense that it's not easy. Um, Norwich on paper on FIFA are definitely the weakest team with Sheffield um in the game. So so winning games is going to be very hard, guys, and it's proving like that. But we're getting so close, we just just can't win. And legendary difficulty, although it's realistic, it is. Brutal. So once again guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you please do like if you are new to the channel watching this and, and somehow enjoy me losing games, please subscribe to the channel. I think there's one YouTuber who I can compare to when I'm at his career mode, and that's Vizet, because he can't win a game either with Burnley. So, I, I mean, at least we're on the same page with that. Anyway guys, I'll see you all in the next episode, hopefully, unless if I'm sacked in the morning. Yeah, we'll see. Peace. And I don't know where I'll go Just one big road, take the wheel cause you're driving too slow Yeah damn right we live in a fast lane here for the play but never the game 